Welcome back guys to the PvP build for the new patch on my Magicka DK with a 1vx banger with two powerful proc sets. The first one, you know it, Cinders of Anthelmir on dealing damage summon a Cindermoth that changes your target without mercy for 8 seconds. Deeds an insane amount of damage, the tooltip is really high. Let me see in the front bar, unbuffed 6.6k, has a 1 second proc delay though, so you could technically avoid it. And even the second, third and the fourth piece bonus with 2 weapon damage and 1 penetration, really nice to use on the front bar. Back bar Plexlinger. When you take damage, so it has no proc chance, summon a Skiver Corpse, which will launch 5 poison bolts over 5 seconds. Each deal 3.5k poison damage with a 10 meters radius. Keep in mind, every second 3.5k. This thing, each hit, hits around 1.5 to almost 3k. It is stationary though, so you can basically outmove it, or out uh, range it. But it's extremely strong, especially in 1v1 one -one situations. You kind of force the enemy to move out of it. Means you can simply regain some resources or even pressure the enemy. That's a good counter against gang blades. Because they immediately get hit by Plague Slinger. And Smithic, Death is Feet. What else? For the extra magic and stamina and HP. One of my favorite Mythics. Gives us tankiness and resources. 120 is filler for the extra HP. And Bloodspawn, as Monster said, a must have on the DK. Ulti region, tankiness and stamina recovery. Armor types too heavy one light sash the rest medium three impen two well fitted and two sturdy make sure to use full prismatic glyphs we need the extra hp magicka and stamina reinforced chest is another option for the extra resistance and some more impen piece if you want up to you full infuse on the jewelry for the extra weapon damage means our healing will get increased we don't need any recovery glyph on the dk Sustain was more than enough. Front bar do it with a mace and a sword. Keep in mind, even if you have max penetration with corrosive armor, corrosive only empowers direct damage abilities, not dot abilities. That's why I'm using also a mace for a pen and a sharpened sword for more penetration. Flame and poison chant to push the uptime of the burning and the poison stealth effect. And back bar nice stuff in defending for the extra armor and the double dot poisons. But you can use basically any other poison here, like Escapist Poison or just a Berserker Glyph for extra weapon damage. Make sure to put out the Trifocus points like this, we still block with Stamina, we don't want to block with Magicka of course. Quick look on the skills, front bar degeneration needed for the major sorcery and brutality buff, also nice extra dot, alternative if you don't have the mage guild leveled, use Molten Armaments, gives also the major brutality buff, and even pushes the minor brutality uptime, the 10% extra weapon spell damage, but costs 4k magicka and then you will lose the extra dot. Venomous Claw, powerful single target ability, Molten Whip as spammable, still this morph, the hybrid morph, helps us just for sustain and also gives us more weapon damage. Shattering Rocks, powerful CC, also heals like crazy, undodgeable, unblockable, the strongest CC in this game. With Molten Whip and Shattering Rocks, you can set the enemy off balance for Exploiter, for the blue CP, Another 10% extra flat damage on top. Flames of Oblivion, powerful dot ability. While slotted gives Major Savage and Prophecy to have some crit rate on either bar now. So you can also the crit buff on the back bar. Very nice. Furious Sleep on the front bar. Back bar Inesas for the Major Breach buff, 6k penetration. And for the 3 status effects, Burning, Shield and Concussion. Race Against Time is narrow removal. For Mage Expedition, 30% movement speed and 10% crit damage with minor force. Vigor self heal and for minor reason 3k armor, volatile armor, I still prefer this morph, deeds dot damage compared to hardened armor and is a really good counter against gank blades or in general knife blades. I use it often as a detection ability, calculating blood is burst steel and corrosive armor. Probably the strongest ultimate in this game, max penetration direct damage abilities for 12 seconds, almost immortality and deeds even poison damage. Raise Dammer for the extra weapon spell damage, max magic and stamina and flame resistance, helpful against flame abilities and if he would be a vampire, I'm not a vampire this time, I simply don't need it on the Magicka DK with Bloodspawn, Deathless Feet, more than enough tankiness, potion, the normal tricep potion and the detection potion against the Nine Blades, Mundus Diatro for 310 Magicka recovery, Smoke Bench for more Magicka recovery and the stun regen, really important. Add 3 points, 30 points in health and the rest in Magicka. Like this I'm at the 132k HP. CPs, Warful Strikes, instead of Mastered Arms. Mastered Arms only increase our damage with direct damage abilities, right? Warful Strikes will increase every single ability 
even dot abilities, also status effects like burning, so Wrath of Strikes is better here. Then still Daddy Aim, which empowers single target abilities, Exploiter, perfectly made for DK with Shattering Rocks and Mountain Whip, and Lose Rebuff as damage mitigation. If you feel too squishy, go with Ironclad instead of Exploiter here. And Red CP is pretty basic with sustained by suffering pain suffused, celebrity and slippery. Combination. Prima for self, always with racing its time. Volatile armor. Vigor. Flames of Oblivion. Start to apply Elisas with degeneration. Venomous Claw. Shadow Rocks. Into Leap. Into Whip. If you have Corrosive up, use Corrosive in between or before the combination. That's it with another PV people. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.
I'm really good at my job.